Okay, once you have set up your swash so that everything is perfectly zeroed out um, along all three uh, servos, next you go to step eight. In step eight, you're going to set your pitch range. So, um, again, make sure everything is properly balanced and set up. Set your pitch ranges. I don't know if you can see that. But for me, I'm in positive 12.9 and negative 12.6. But a little bit earlier, there we go, 12.9. So it's pretty self explanatory. The first row is your pitch range. Make sure you get how much pitch you want. The bottom row right here that's your tail servo so uh, you're going to go full left rudder and full right rudder until you hear the tail servo buzzing when it starts to buzz then you back off until it stops buzzing uh, and the last part is your cyclic ring tuning check that box that's going to lock your tail that's going to give you full pitch and aileron and elevator so normally what you do is just listen for a servo buzz and make sure you don't have any binding um, currently with my with these servos they're buzzing even when I don't have any load on them so uh, I would just check for binding again you bring full negative and then full uh, all the way around your cyclic stick so um, full elevator and full airline and go mid stick do the same thing make sure everything's still good and then full pitch and check to make sure there is no binding of any kind. Um, well, your goal is to increase this value until you get binding and then back off a little bit. You want as much cyclic ring as possible because it allows the controller to really do its job, um, especially uh, for the bailout and stuff. We'll get you around a lot quicker. All right, your geometry tuning. All you're going to do for this is set your helicopter up properly. Um, make sure that your blades are parallel with the body of the helicopter and you need to get that number to 6 degrees. Currently negative 8 so I will adjust the numbers. Um, 